What's up everyone welcome to another video in this video we are going to talk about personal finance it's one of my favorite topic to talk about so let's get started and also yes we will talk about how I made hundred thousand dollars on my Robinhood portfolio or through my investment and how you should manage your money and how you should smartly invest your money let's get started If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing because we talk about career in United States. We talk about personal finance, immigration. We also talk about self-help. So a lot of fun stuff and fun content coming up. Uh, consider subscribing. Before we even talk about investment, I know a lot of you have been waiting for like what stocks to invest, what app to use and all of that. Uh, before we talk about that, there are two main things which I want to talk about. Number one is emergency fund or emergency saving. Before you invest any of your money, I want you to have that, like have the emergency fund because it's so, so important that people miss this step and they start investing money and then when something goes wrong, then, you know, they have to take out the money from investment. Uh, it's not like bad but if you have emergency funding if you have emergency saving then that's even better like you are in a very good mental state when it comes to finances what is emergency savings i've talked about it in a several several videos uh, i'll link all my personal finance videos in fact i have a playlist so go and watch them but ideally emergency savings or a fund it's basically an amount of money which you have put it aside when you lose a job then for six months you have this money saved that you don't need to worry about where the next paycheck is coming for example i ideally like to have six months of your monthly expense or three months of your salary unless your salary is equal to monthly expenses that should never be the case if that is the case then there's a different problem we need to solve but ideally your salary would be five thousand so dollars just taking a roughly number and let's say if your monthly expense is two thousand let's say $3,000. So that $3,000, which means now six months of your expenses would be $18,000. You have to save $18,000 before you start any of your investment. Because if you happen to lose your job, if somebody falls sick, some big, you know, major expenses came, came to your way, or in worst cases, when you lose your job. So then you are not worried about when is my next paycheck gonna come or when how will I pay my rent how will I pay my you know mortgage payment and all of that because you have already saved for six months you can purely focus on your job search your mental health will be at a very good space state all right talking about savings brings to our sponsor of the video on juno is sponsoring this video thank you on juno for sponsoring on juno provides a checking account in united states so if you are in united states you can open a checking account with them they have a lot of good features one of them is earning 1.2 percent bonus on your checking account which means if you have that twenty thousand dollars deposited you are earning 1.2 percent bonus on your checking or which is super cool and that is just one of the feature another feature which i regularly use is transferring the money to india so a lot of you've been asking how do you transfer the money to india on juno has that service so you can literally have this money on your on juno account whoever you want to transfer the money right now diwali is coming so a lot of you might want to send money to your parents or you want to give somebody or you want to transfer money to your indian bank account because you want to invest in indian bank account or you want to pay off your loan whatever that might be the reason you can use on juno service uh, to transfer the money to india it's really really simple very easy and super nice ui i love their ui one of the other feature is that i have always found the best conversion rate of your dollar on on juno they have a site checking list like they they will give you a list of all the we have a website that does the transferring from united states to india you will see all the rates uh, on their website and on juno most likely and i can guarantee you most likely will be on the on the top because it does give you the best dollar rate for your dollar and when you do transfer you are always worried about how do i track my money is it gonna go or not they have a tracking feature super nice you it gives you real-time updates as soon as you transfer it when where is it, where is it when does it get there and who when when does it receive all the updates you can track it really really nice i highly recommend you link in the description in fact you open your account right now you will get 15 dollars bonus on your first deposit so go ahead and check it out moving on to the next step 
step after you have your emergency savings you want to pay off your high interest loan before you start investment a lot of people make this mistake that they don't pay off your loan um, they don't pay off the loan and they start investing it doesn't make sense because you already are paying like somebody a loan payment with a high interest uh, unless it's a 0% interest then maybe okay you are you are fine just do the monthly payment but if it is a high interest rate you want to pay off the loan as quickly as possible before even you start investment so do that and then come to the final step which is investing so those two things which i definitely definitely recommend is emergency savings and then second one is paying off your high interest loan once you're done with that then let's talk about investment how do we start investing let's clear the logistics part of it before we talk about the strategy part of it number one is what do i use to invest i have several uh, brokerage account fidelity is one which is where my 401k account is for those of you who don't know anything about 401k if you should enroll in 401k and all of that leave in the disc- leave the comment if you want to know more about it i can talk talk more about it i now understand how the retirement account work and how ira work and roth ira work and 401k work and all of that let me know if you want to know more about it i will make a separate video but i have a fidelity account which is my 401k retirement account so i can use to buy stocks through that but i don't i use robin hood which is my main kind of brokerage account my main stock portfolio i also use a platform called webull which is also another brokerage account and then there is other apps which i use i will talk more about them either in the later part of the video or in the next video i'm going to use robin hood as my main example because that's where i hit $100,000 on my portfolio which is what the title is about and i know a lot of you've been waiting for it right now you can see i don't know can you see can you i don't know if you can see it actually let me do the screen recording so you can i've started screen recording so hopefully you will be able to see as you can see i have $115,000 uh, but you know again keep in mind that i been investing from very long time uh, if you actually remember uh, i made a video sometime early this year maybe in february or march i was at $50,000 my goal was to get $100,000 i made that financial goal that i wanted to hit $100,000 and invest money into my stock market as an 100,000 portfolio next goal for next year will be $200,000 and maybe another one will be $300,000 every year i want to grow my portfolio as and when i can again keep in mind that if all of this 100,000 goes away tomorrow i'm okay with it uh, that's the mindset you want to go with that any money you invest in stock market you have to think about it in a way that you're losing this money for next 5 years you're not going to use this money for next 5 years of course if you have to use it do use it like let's say if i want to buy a house and i you know the house is like very expensive and i need $100,000 as a down payment i will pull out all the money and put it in my down payment whatever that it is uh, case but i usually go with a mindset that i'm putting this money and i'm not going to need this for next 5 years that's the mindset i want you to have when you start investing uh, don't go with the mindset that today i'm going to invest uh, $10 and tomorrow it's going to be $20 yeah you know i made $10 profit don't go with that mindset because that is never going to make you happy it's always be stressful investment should be fun right so you know just keep that in mind that 5 years plan before we get into the stock like which stock do i invest into here's one thing which i highly recommend is budgeting you don't if you haven't seen my budgeting video link in the description go and watch budgeting video how to budget your money but anyway let's say if you're uh, if you're making $5000 a lot of you are you know becoming intern and co-ops and all of this so this this will be very helpful for you so let's say if your income is $4000 or $5000 and if your monthly income uh, expenses monthly expenses if your salary is $5000 in hand salary and your expenses is $2000 uh, you are getting roughly $3000 as whatever you want to do and that is i'm taking maybe a tr- drastic uh, example let's say if you are having $3000 as your expenses now you have $2000 which you want to make sure how to invest it smartly so creating budget uh, in my case i if i have $1500 as my monthly budget that no matter what i either i'm going to invest into real estate or i'm going to invest into stock or whatever that is um, so you have to decide where you want to put that money but create a budget of all the living things living expenses you have to use after that whatever the money is left uh, 
have that as your investment bucket um, that you are going to invest into this and be very smart about investment back to robin hood uh, it's an app where you can buy stocks you can also actually buy cryptocurrency if you are into cryptocurrency i haven't bought any but you can buy cryptocurrencies if you want to i truly believe in investing real estate or stocks uh, so i'm going to be investing in those market uh, I'm learning more about cryptocurrency but I think it's right now the prices are way too high to even get into the market maybe let it fall and then you get into the market it is as simple as it will give you a stock which you want to buy so for example tesla let's uh, let's go to tesla right there's a stock called tesla right now it says uh, 909 dollars you you want to buy this uh, there's a trade button which is in green color you click on that there's a options right there's trade option sell buy will not talk about options because we are not going to do options we are either going to buy or sell if you want to buy you click on buy and right now it says how many dollars do you want to invest now this is a cool feature in robinhood that you don't have to have 900 dollars to invest into tesla you can literally say i only want i only want to invest 10 dollars so you can say 10 dollars and it will say that hey if you want to buy something for 10 dollars it will be 0.001% of tesla stock so beauty is that you don't have to have all of 900 dollars to invest into tesla um or you can of course you can click click on this and you can say i want to buy in shares and that's where you can say i want to buy one share of tesla and it'll give you you need to have 900 dollars and then when you click on review of course i don't have enough money right now so it says that you don't have enough money so let's go back to dollars and let's say i want to invest 20 dollars and it will say review and you just have to you know swipe up i'm not going to do it because i don't want to buy it right now it's too expensive to buy tesla right now but that's how you would buy it is as simple as that you pick a company you believe in and you want to invest in i'll talk about it which where to put your money into i will leave all the stocks which i truly invest in uh, in the description so that way you can go and check it out uh, um, if you are interested in buying those stocks i uh, keep in mind i'm not a financial advisor so please disclaimer that i'm not a financial advisor this is purely based on my experiences uh, so if you want to invest into the stocks i bought more than welcome but you don't have to invest into the same stock now let's talk about before i actually talk about this let's talk about two main stocks which i two main categories of stocks which i invest in number one is blue chip stocks uh, blue chip stocks is the company which is really really powerful company they they are been in the market for a very long time it's a very steady company it doesn't fluctuate like today it is hundred dollars tomorrow it's going to be zero dollars or the next day it's going to be again hundred dollars it doesn't fluctuate it fluctuates in within one to three dollars range up and down uh, companies like microsoft google's you know uh, reliance tata in your case uh, in case of india um, so those are the companies called blue chip stocks like those are the companies very well known very reputed you want to invest in those companies because you know that your money is safe uh, that even if market goes up and down uh, you know it's still going to be very relatively very safe versus the brand new companies the startups and the ipos which people are very excited about they put in a lot of money and then you know it's driven by other big giants and somehow the money goes up or goes down and you know you freak out so rather invest in blue chip which you believe in the company or you truly believe in the companies like you know there are some companies which i truly believe in like electric vehicles is becoming a big thing uh, I, i truly believe in next 3 4 years uh, everybody is going to have an electric vehicle and there are a lot of startups like lucid air is another company uh, there are like you know a lot of companies who are getting into electric vehicles so maybe you you research about that company and you want to buy into that company because you believe either in the ceo or in the company so i believe in elon musk and i believe that you know he's going to make a good product and tesla coming for and he's going to take the company very far so i want to invest in tesla i believe in apple like i have a lot of stocks in apple because i have 43 stocks in apple and i keep on buying like every time i have a spare money left i keep on buying apple and that is just because i truly believe that apple is going to grow it is already trillion com- trillion dollar company and it's going to keep growing i know that they have a lot of money so it's always going to grow and they do give you dividends as well we'll talk about dividends in separate video
So blue chip stocks is one category. Second one is index fund. Index fund is collection of uh, several big companies uh, stocks or small company stock uh, as a one stock. Uh, so just like a mutual fund, but it's like an index fund. So you let's say instead of investing in Apple, Microsoft, Google separately, there is a S&P 500, which is basically top 500 companies uh, becoming one stock and you just buy that stock. So it is a collection of all that company into one stock. Uh, I invest all heavily in index funds as well uh, and that's that portfolio is in fidelity but you know there are index funds which I invest in and again I list all my index funds which in the description so you can buy it uh, some of them are from Vanguard so you know VOO is one of my favorite so VOO is my favorite which is Vanguard S&P 500 ETF uh, right now it's $416 and in fact what I've done and this is what smart investment I've done is like I have actually put aside a recurring investment so you can see over here you cannot see what I have done is every month uh, every I have put a every month $50 I'm gonna put it into this company that's what I've done this for a couple more companies uh, like Apple is one of them VO is another one of them a recurring deposit into that stock no matter what the price is I'm gonna every month I'm gonna put $50 regardless of the price uh, in my head I know that my money is going into a very good stock which is a S&P 500 I'm investing basically in 500 companies into one index fund uh, I'll list all the index fund into my description. So go ahead and use them if you want to. There's something called REIT, which is real estate index fund as well. I'll talk about that in a separate video. There's also another app, app called, uh, website called Fundrise, where, which, where you can actually invest money into apartments and real estate, like commercial estate, commercial market and all of that. Like literally you can invest into that. There's another app called acorns which i use a lot so i'll talk about that in a separate video there's a lot more to learn um again this video is already so long if you're still watching kudos to you um thank you for watching i hope this was helpful uh again just get started uh, let's do the baby steps you know get the emergency saving pay off the loans and then start investing money uh, create a budget and whatever that money is start putting money into the market uh, slowly 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 we will grow i hope this was helpful and valuable i'll see you guys in the next one until then keep smiling and keep hustling you gotta hustle every single day